What's going on there YouTube? This is Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be going over a new app for the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, uh, Note 8, uh, Galaxy S8, S8, and all of that. As long as you are on Oreo, this app will work for you and this is the Goodlock 2018 version. Now there was a version that was um, a couple years old if I'm not mistaken, two or three years ago they came out with a good lock well this is an updated version it was updated recently in june i forgot the date maybe june 18th or the 16th or something like that but what this does is brings new features uh to the samsung devices that are supported which is like i said the s8 s8 plus note 8 and the galaxy s9 s9 plus maybe even the s7s as long as you are running oreo so this is mainly for the S9 Plus, as you can see, and this is called the Good Lock app. And what this allows you to do is create uh, different lock screens, uh, notification gesture type things, uh, task changer routines, and also some edge lighting, edge detection, and one-handed operation, and sound assistance. So uh, once you first download this, uh, it's going to do the tasking panels as you can see right there, which sort of gives it like a, um, I guess, Android P preview of what it might look like on the Samsung device. So let's go ahead and get started by jumping into your Galaxy apps. So you're going to want to scroll down, see if I can find it. Uh, Galaxy apps right here. And just go into the search and search Good Lock 2018. And there it is right there. You're going to click download. And once you have it downloaded, you're just going to go ahead and hit open. So we're just going to run down the list. And we're going to show you some of the uh, options you have here. So Lockstar is pretty much a customized lock screen that you can create. And this is mine right here, which I've already applied. So I'll go ahead and give you a look of how it looks. And it has a clock and some other notifications down here that you can click. And then you just swipe for your to unlock your screen. And you could do several different options right here. As you can see right here, you could change the clock bottom. You could have shortcuts. You could put the clock up top, etc. Off to the side. Off to the side, still have your options down here. You could change the backgrounds. You could change everything. The wallpaper, you could even add your own wallpaper, which I did right there. You could change the clock style. As you can see, all of these different options were analog, digital, clocks, uh, the background you could change, and the items visibility, which means you want the help text. Do you want, uh, lock status, music controller, and I have all of these checked out on mine. So let's go ahead and go back to the lock screen that I have chosen, as you can see right there. So, oops, went a little bit too far ahead of ourselves. So that is Lockstar, very, very customizable lock screen option. Very, very nice. Um, the one that I don't really use the most because I kind of like my lock screen it is the way it is, but I'm going ahead and trying it out. So uh, next thing we're going to go ahead and do is the Quick Star. Now what this allows you to do is change your no, your toggles up here for your Quick Panel. As you can see, I grayed mine out and made them a little bit transparent. And we're going to go ahead and go to coloring and you could change each one that you would like my coloring is this one that I created go ahead and apply and it changes the color and you could also choose different ones uh, you could create your own and it sort of gives you a little preview up here so you want to change the color of your icons you can do that change the color of your lettering you could also do that and then change the background color 
say you want it to be black you can do that and sort of you have you know a different effect you could change the background transparency to where you want to fully transparent or not blur effect and dim effect when you slide down on your notification panel so really really nice I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel on that very nice for customizing your notification panel uh, if a theme doesn't do it just for you uh, you could also do it like this and it's very nice very fluid and it, it just works really really well rather than theming so and then on the next is going to be your simple indicator which means this will take off some of the notifications that you have on your um, status bar which like for me I have my alarm off and I have NFC off you can take the battery off if you want as you can see right there uh, you could take your volume off if you want you could take the time off if you want but it's very very customizable go ahead and put the battery back there we go very very customizable you could remove Wi-Fi indicators very nice I like that feature a lot it's sort of you're not as crowded up top on your on your uh, status bar next feature on the list is the notification multi window and what this does is say you have something um, on your notification panel you would just sort of slide over and there'll be a little two dot right there as you can see right there and once you click that it'll give you a uh, option to sort of bring it up in a little floating window which is really nice I don't have any uh, notifications to be able to show you which sucks but um, it's really a nice feature it pretty much brings up a little pop-up window and you could use everything you can say if you're watching YouTube you could watch the video and you can move it around and then you could close it out it's a more advanced pop-up video than what the YouTube gives you because then you could also scroll your uh, next videos and all of that kind of stuff so it's really really nice really really enjoy that feature so we're gonna go on if I keep going back out of that app uh, the next thing is the task changer and this is what I enjoy the most from this app it allows you to change your multi window, I mean your uh, recents, to a much better panel like thing, uh, Android P type style. And it's really, really nice. It has features like if you click that, it'll hide your content on your panel just in case you don't want nobody seeing. It'll hide it. You could lock the panel or lock the app, that way it doesn't go away when you click close all really nice features you could change the scroll effect cube in cube out as you can see right there you could do rotation up which allows you to do sort of like a little card thing and really really nice let's see if I can go back I prefer the linear just because it makes it cleaner and it's a really nice feature uh, this is the one I enjoy the most you could also use mini mode which makes them into smaller cards I don't like that, it looks weird uh, but uh, really nice, a lot of features that's the one I enjoy the most you also have other apps that you could download here at the bottom uh, the other app I have downloaded is the edge lighting go ahead and open that up and I have it to where it's the galaxy effect as you can see it sort of goes around you have all these different types of effects, you have your basic you can see that multicolor glow and you have another glitter and you have a fluid which sort of goes around and you got one that's like a boomerang it goes around as you can see right there really cool features and then the galaxy you got a loop which creates a loop and you got celebrate but I go and keep on the galaxy you could change the coloring of it which is really really nice you purple if you want blue I have my set on blue and you could set the transparency as well so really nice feature I love it that's one of the 
reasons why I downloaded is this and the task manager just do it for me and uh, also the quick star lock star eh, it's all right you also have edge touch which doesn't allow you to like if you touch the phone and you accidentally touch the edges uh, it won't respond I don't use that one one-handed operation allows you to use the phone one-handedly you can have a whole bunch of different options I don't, I'm not using that one as you can see uh, swipe back soft key swipe soft key all C swipe action I'm not sure how to use that back key soft key all you could also move the screen as you can see right there let's see if I can get this to work there we go you could also move the screen this is one hand at mode really nice feature you could adjust the transparency the size positioning and the touch sensitivity but like I said I'm not really using that one that much I just have it for the other um, apps and then I also downloaded sound assistance which allows you to have like say you want a floating button for like three seconds you touch the volume it should bring up a little floating button right here as you can see and then it gives you options for your sound assistance you can go straight to your equalizer you can do all your settings your concert your H UH Q upscaler and your equalizer you can do custom or whatever and it's, that's pretty cool to have a little floating button for like three seconds and you just click it off and you